Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and today is Tutorial Tuesday. If it's your first time here, expect to see errors and mistakes because that's usually what happens on my channel. But anyway, we're here today with one of the dies from the design team hall yesterday which is a Nicole design from Surprise Creation Store and we're going to do the snow globe easel die this is a great die I can you know fully measure it up when it's made and you get the base you get the globe you get the easel die base now you need to cut two of these uh, I will show you that once I've run off and cut my paper You've got the snow for the globe. You've got two sizes of tree there. You've got snow that goes around your house and snow that goes around the house door. You've got a lantern and you've also got a truck. These are great things that can be used as the stops for the easel. Now, it's always, um, I think, important that if you make an easel card for someone who may never have received an easel card before, pop some instructions in there for them so that they know it's not something floppy that lies down flat and that they know it's something that will stand up. So that's just a useful little pointer we're making and giving easel cards. Right, I'm going to dash off and select my cardstock and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we go. I chose Dollar Tree foam boards because it's nice and thick to do the snow on my globe. And I also chose it for the roof and the door. And I've done my little house in a pastel sort of pearly pink cardstock from Joanne. And all of the cardstock that I'm using today is from Joanne. So you can see the snow goes around like that and then the snow will go on the door like that and that will give that bit some lovely dimension. I've cut three trees because I want a big and a small in my seam. I haven't got a clue which way around I'm going to do them yet. And I've also cut, <clears throat> excuse my throat, the little red truck. I think I might run off actually and cut some inners in black and then I've cut another little tree which is going to go into the back of there and that's going to become the stop on my easel and I've cut two bases one for the card and then one for the base of the card so that my little truck and tree will be the stop for my easel card of course, I am going to show everything on what you do with that. But I think I am going to run off and cut black because I forgot to do that. And then this lovely um, sort of like Swiss dots paper from Joanne. You can see you've still got your stars cut out there that are all part of that globe. But I just thought that would give it sort of like instant snowfall. And then I've cut two of these and cut that piece off so what you're going to have to do here I'll show you how to fold this before I run off and cut the black for that and that is you fold this towards yourself make sure that it's lined up nicely and then crease yes I do have a bone folder on my table for a change and I'm just going to go down on that a couple of times because I have used really thick quality cardstock. Now you can see that I've got the nice side of the cardstock facing me because we're always having this discussion. You can see, look, when your plates are worn, the cardstock gets a bit dinged up. I wish somebody would sort of like create non marking cutting plates. And uh, if my camera's a bit wonky, I do apologise. So we've got the nice side facing up. That's our easel section. And if you look here, you can see there is a score line and it does show through that side. This is where we're going to put our tape. That's the only bit of tape that you need here. And that is where it's going to go. So I'm going to do that before... I run away and cut the black for the wheels and I've got some quite narrow tape here and it's this stuff and this is great for shakers this is from AliExpress and I'm going to pick it up so that you can see 
and I'm just going to go along that very edge down there and of course this is where I start getting all wobbly because I've got the camera in front of my face and I'm just going to put it along that edge I hope that you can see everything easel cards are super easy to make and then we are going to peel off the tape she says hoping that it's stuck down first of all sometimes it's nice to actually run your bone folder along tape because there are resins in the glue and the more you prime them um, the more secure they are there you go I've just pulled the back off the tape you can see that it's sticky there and then we're going to line this one up so that you've got your your nice embossed side I'm going to stand up because I can't really see and we're going to line our card up on top of everything that we've done make sure that you're all straight and that isn't that's what I mean about working with a, a camera in front of your face and if I'm shouting into the mic I do apologize so there we go that's all lined up and look at what you've got now whoops no I didn't put that on right I'll go quiet while I do it so you want to make sure that it's all nice and tidy And that is what you've got. And this piece here, do you know, I forgot to score it. I told you, didn't I? So if that pops off there, it's because it's not scored. So I'm just going to do that now because I'm really naughty. There. And it's, it's just that easy. So if I hold it sideways, you can see that little bit there is glued to there. And then this is what's going to be the stop for my easel, which is why I cut a second one. Okay, I'm going to go and cut some black for the wheels and I'll be back. Okay, so I cut my black for my wheels and you can see the two little dots there. And there isn't anything that's going to hold them in. And this is where I usually use my double-sided tape. But as this is going to be dimensional I'm actually going to use my Dollar Tree foam pads and I'm going to remove one and I'm going to cut it up so that it will fit into that section but without it sort of like you know sticking it out where the person who receives the card is going to see a bunch of white so I'm trying to get myself in picture there and I'm popping that piece down and I'm going to cut a little bit off there and I'm probably going to use that somewhere else and I've got a piece there right I'm just going to pop that on my mat and if you can see look you've got the glue sticking through the back but because this is going to be the dimensional stop you've already got your dimension on there so you've saved a bit of time I'm hoping that little piece will fit in there. There we go. So we've got our pads on the back and we've got sticky where the wheels are going to go. So I'm going to get my pickup tool and I think we're going blurred again. Let's see if I can bring the camera down. And then I might have to just move stuff in there. There. Right, so I'm using my pickup tool and I've got that on there and I'm going to pop it in and then I'm going to grab the other one and I'm going to pop that one in so now I've used the side of the sticky pad to hold the little black wheels of my truck right I I just need to go and get the mail lady at the gate. I'll be back in a second. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> I do love my mail lady, so I do have to go out and see her. 
Right, so we've just put the wheels onto the little red truck and I've got my little sticky pads there now. So that's given that piece dimension and also been able to hold the wheels in place. Now I'm going to pop a little tree sort of like traditional style into the truck and I want it to kind of like go in and overlap the front. So I'm kind of going to glue it in position like that. And I'm using my lovely Dollar Tree glue because it's my favourite. And I tend to kind of like hold things where I want them and pop my glue in. And you can see there's a little drip there. That doesn't bother me. I'm going to hold that bit now so that it glues in position. And then I'm going to go behind the truck to glue the rest of that little tree in place. And that's kind of like how I want it, sort of like with a stalk hanging out of the back there. So that is now going to dry and I'm going to pop that little piece there. Now I'm going to glue my little bits of house together and as I showed you before I've used Dollar Tree foam board because it's feather light and it's got great dimension. So I'm going to go around the edge of the house because I'm not sure exactly how much, I'm trying to get back in camera again, um, the Dollar Tree foam board will overlap this. So I've just piped down a line of my Dollar Tree jock glue using my AliExpress bottle. You don't have to use anything fancy. And then I'm just going to pop that down onto there. Now, I want to make sure it's even and I think it is and if it's not straight <laughs> once again I do apologize I think it's straight though and now I'm going to go around that little door there and just on the outside of it and I've got my glue on and now I'm going to pop that on make sure it's even and if it's not, I have got my pokey tool here somewhere. So I can sort of like glide it over a fraction. I think that will do it. So we've got snow at the door and we've got our snow on the roof. Isn't that cute? This is, um, even though I'm sort of like, you know, messing around and taking my time here and I'm chatting and whatnot. This is a really quick and uh, easy thing to do. Great sized pieces. I like to put my finger in there because I know quite a few people do have problems with their hands. So now we've got our little truck. We've got our little house with its sort of snowy icing on there. You could do this candy style actually. And uh, you could sort of like put sprinkles and glittery bits up there if you wanted to. Right, so that's my snowy top. But we need to pop these down and I need to pop this on now you need to sort of like wiggle it around and sort of roughly decide the size of border uh, that you want for your pieces how high up and whatnot you want to pop your snow globe so I'm going to go about there I think and I'm going to need it to be straight, obviously. So that needs to come over just a fraction. But I can see mine is sort of like halfway through that curve. And I'm going to stand up to do this again. So I can take it off confidently knowing where I'm basically going to put it. And I'm just running some glue along the back of there. And I think that should do it. I don't like to kind of like put too much toward the edges because when you squeeze it down, it's, uh, well, it's liquid, isn't it? And it squeezes out. So I can see that I want it to be there and I need it to line up. So I'm sort of like part way across. I'm going to go a little bit more. Make sure I'm straight before I press it down. And I 
pretty sure that's about it. So I'm squeezing that down now. And then of course my snow globey bit, the stand of it, is going to go under there. So I hope you can see that. I really do love this paper. I have to say, Joanne at the moment with its cardstock is um, is really, really outdoing itself. It's uh, it's a pleasure to go shopping in there and actually buy individual sheets. And it's such great quality. I mean, they're doing all sorts of plaids and they're doing dots like this. And you can get sort of like spring flower type designs. And just really, really nice. And of course, if you like to pick up all different shades of pinks and stuff like that, then they've got that too. Right, so I'm hoping I've got that down straight so that you can see I've got the base of my snow globe. I'm going to make sure that's firmly stuck. And then onto there, of course, I've got to pop my snow. So I'm going to do that. Once again, my Dollar Tree glue. Just wiggle it all around on there. Oops, slipped with a bit. I'm going to take this and you can kind of get a feel of where it's going to be and I'm quite happy to have mine there so if I can get you close up there we've got that lovely dimension and now we need to decide about the trees and the house so you don't have to sort of like stick within that snow area you can put things wherever you want them I can have my trees going on back there and I can have my little house in front and in fact I think that's exactly what I'm going to do because I quite like that so Dollar Tree glue once again I'm still standing up <laughs> and I'm going to pop that down of course if you wanted to double up your trees you can and sort of like fold one in half so that you can sort of like raise it up a bit, curl it up so that you've got a dimensional Christmas tree. That's going to look cute. And of course in this set you've also got that lovely little lantern. And if you're buying that scroll set that I showed you yesterday, you could actually pop little tea lights in this. So I've got those within that white section of the globe, the actual frame piece of it, so there we have that, I'm going to hold that down because I want that to stick, now I'm going to go for my house, so I'm just flipping that over and just putting down glue where I need it, and you've got lovely little windows in this and with that little sort of Swiss dot paper that's going to look really cute I just noticed one of my trees has just curled up but that's okay so I'm going to go right there with my little house I think that's really sweet now all of the glue is going to take a few seconds to dry and I just like to hold stuff so while I'm squishing this down I'll I'll pause. Okay, so that's dry. So now we can just lift that and open it. Flap that bit right over to there. And then we're going to stick our final piece down here and get it as even as possible. So Dollar Tree glue once again. I'm actually sitting back down now, so I hope I'm not yelling into that mic. And... I don't want any dimension on this because, of course, the dimension and the stop section of the card is going to be the truck. So I'm going in here and I hope that I've got this straight and centre. And I'm kind of like looking over at my camera there a bit and seeing if I can wiggle it. I think that that is straight. 
got that popped down. We've got a lot of humidity here at the moment, lots of rain, and um, that can affect glue. And now for the stop of the cards, I'm just going to peel the backs off my Dollar Tree foam pads, which is the uh, little truck and tree here. And once again, I'm, I'm going to have to stand up and I'm going to have my truck and tree. I hope that's kind of like landing in the centre there. And that is going to be the stop for the card so that when we open it and we push it back there it is you've got your little truck and tree coming up to meet you so that is the easel card and that is what it looks like from the side you can of course if you want to have an easel card that sticks right the way up. You can bring it all the way back like that if you want to. But I kind of like the idea that it's right there with a decorative little base. And I think at a slopey angle like that, it's nice to have on a table because you can still see it. So if I drag that away so that I can pick it up, then you've got a good close up. So there is the base of the globe there. And I think the um, wood effect came from a pad from Tuesday morning. But there's your Dollar Tree foam and you've got all of that lovely Joanne's paper. But what a lovely, lovely card. Really easy, really quick. It only took a, a while for me doing it because I can't really see that well. But snow globes can be used for anything you can have a mermaid in there you could have a ufo in there with a starry night sky you can do anything with a snow globe i just think that's absolutely gorgeous it really is a beautiful detailed design wow i hope i wasn't too confusing for you today and you have a wonderful day i'm back up tomorrow with some more surprise creation samples and they will be the cookie jar the cupcake and the gingerbread and that stained glass window so you have a fabulous day and i'll see you tomorrow bye